Hello there, it is Rookie, and welcome back to another episode of Evolution. Friday Night Evolution, baby. As we will start the night tonight with some singles action from SmackDown Live. The Ravishing Russian Lana making her way out to the ring. It's been a while since we've seen her in action. It wasn't going so well for Lana last time we saw her out in the ring. But hoping to see that Carmella picked up a win last week. She's hoping that maybe this is the turn of luck that they've been looking for. That this is what they've been expecting for. And maybe this is uh, this is where they start to mature and change their game. But tonight she faces one of two number one contenders for the women's championship so it's going to be a little bit of a tough battle but if she's able to pick up a victory then uh, definitely the growth of, of lana in the ring is improving and fire and desire in the wrong roles here but hey mandy rose and sonia deville baby And as we'll skip that entrance there, we'll get ready for this here as uh, this is a match coming to you from mm, SmackDown Live. Here we go. I was waiting for the bell, too. I'm a little awkward, like that, a little weird. But uh, here on Evolution, we get matches from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown. The ladies will all go at it. And right now, Mandy Rose starting to show off why she was chosen to be a number one contender. As we know, the winner of that matchup at the Great American Bash will win the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, but have a date with Destiny and have a match with the Queen of the Ring, Asuka, at SummerSlam. Again, Asuka was uh, not allowed to use her chance at the Bash because, well, she had to defend her championship at TakeOver. Even though it's set many weeks away, management felt like, uh, yeah, that's not what we're going to have her do. We're going to have her wait till SummerSlam, the biggest party of the summer. And it's, it's a smart decision. It's a money decision by Shawn Michaels and Shane McMahon. A way to make cash and a way to make something happen at SummerSlam to put the Queen of the Ring against the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. But the question right now is, is will Becky Lynch make it there? Will Mandy Rose or Sonya Deville be able to pull up the upset? And uh, Becky has been telling Mandy, hey, look, what's going to happen is Sonya's going to turn on you or, or you're going to turn on Sonya. But you're both not going to to think you have a chance to beat me really like in one-on-one -on -one action you two would not even be in the same breath as me oh lana going high risk wait a second let me let me see what lana's about to bust out a big time splash lana is like let me see what i can do off the top rope and lana a kick out though by rose mandy's gonna pick herself up a little bit but uh mandy told becky hey that's not the goal the goal is just to dethrone you and not let you walk out of the out of there with the championship Whoever wins it, either Sonya or I, but we're going to take the championship away from you. And uh, we'll see if that rings true when the bash does arise. But Becky keeps telling her, hey, you're the biggest dope in the world because <laughs> you're falling for something that Sonya is telling you she's got your back. But she's probably going to be turning on you really quickly. And now Mandy off the middle rope here. Mandy Rose, ah, knee to the face of Lana right there. And Mandy Rose thinking, oh, she can pick up the victory here against Lana. And a kick out by Lana. There we go. With Sonya Deville on the outside watching uh, Lana's back. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's main event will feature from the SmackDown side uh, and partly ECW side because uh, an ECW star, women's superstar, will be in action. It will be Nikki Cross, the number one contender for the, Intercon the United States Championship. She'll be in action. And uh, tonight we have a, a special guest with us who will be accompanying Nikki Cross, the, the commissioner, the head of ECW, the man running the show over there. Paul Heyman says he will make a, make a manager appearance for Nikki Cross to help her get better and take that championship away, championship away from SmackDown Live. And uh, that, that's definitely an advantage for Nikki Cross as she faces Natalia later tonight. And look at this. Lana's been looking really good. She's been having some good moments here. Picking up 
picking up and picking up and picking up and now Mandy Rose right behind her now and Sonya Deville that's what I, that's teamwork right there and Mandy's telling Sonya that's for you right there we got this like we got this together but that is our main event tonight we will also hear from the man tonight as Becky Lynch is here in the building tonight ready to address uh, a couple things again her uh, challenges for the bash her feelings and it's been a while since we've seen Becky on Evolution. And Bulldog by Mandy Rose. Maybe she's getting close to ending this matchup. Maybe she's getting close to putting this one to bed. And Lana gets the shoulder up barely. But uh, a hard fight from Lana. This is definitely improvement from Lana where we've seen her just get destroyed previously. And you're facing a number one contender. Lana definitely studying on the book, studying and getting ready and becoming even better than she normally is. And look at that stretch, right? That's that's hard to stretch. I can't even stretch like that. That's it's impressive there by Lana just doing what she has to do right now. Trying to get the crowd here behind her. Carmella on the outside. Melo who picked up an easy win last week against an NXT superstar. Look at that. Pull on the hair. And Lana's like, there you go. We'll also see Mickey James in action tonight uh, when she does take on Maria Kanellis later tonight. And that's going to be quite the matchup there. We'll also have tag team matchups as the Chick Busters are in action tonight. Uh, AJ Lee and Caitlyn as well. Those are the four. Those are the those are the matches that will happen here tonight. As now Lana in control of Mandy. Mandy counters it here. Now Mandy Rose again going for that bulldog that she. Oh no! I thought she was gonna go for the bulldog, but she didn't. She just hit her down to the knees. And here comes Lana. Big Machka kick. Machka kick. Kick out though at two by Rose. Mandy Rose survives the Machka kick, which we've seen put a lot of people down when Rusev hits it. Mandy with the counter. Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose. Oh, wait a second. Rose setting it up. Good night. That's it. We're good. Lana, thank you for your improvement, but Mandy Rose puts the end of this one. And uh, quite the, the, the fight from Lana here tonight. Look at that splash from Lana. We don't really, we don't really see that here from Lana. She's Splash City. Mandy Rose had her uh, hands full with Lana, who was trying to show, hey, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah, this is a much better outing from Lana. Just unfortunately for her, she wasn't able to pick up the win here tonight. Uh, but again, you're facing a woman who's been uh, who's been made a number one contender who will be fighting the women's champion, Becky Lynch, at the Great American Bash pay-per-view. And Mandy Rose alongside Sonya Deville. Will this be the outcome here? Will Mandy be doing this strut here when she gets to the bash? And will she be reigning over and holding that women's championship over her head? Or will Becky Lynch's uh will Becky Lynch's words come true? Or will Sonya Deville change the outcome there? Who knows? Here. here. It is, it, it is, is, it uh, is a match, uh, match Monday, from Monday Night, Night Raw, Raw coming up, coming here, up here on, here on Evolution. Evolution. And it, and it features, features a woman who will not be in the, the six, six women's, women's match, match for the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Championship, Championship who I thought, who I thought, thought she would have been. been. Mickey James, James is here, here and ready, ready to go all out. Here tonight, here tonight in a match, a match where, where hey, he wants, he to, wants prove to prove to Stephanie, Stephanie and Triple H, 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 you guys should put me in that match, I don't know why you guys slide, slide, slide out, out of that, or why, why I wasn't in that match, match but, but you, should. you should, and there, and there is an absence here tonight, Lacey Evans not here with Mickey James, and Mickey James said, hey, Lacey said she needed to stay at home, and she needed to practice, and she needed to train a little bit more, so I'm letting her, you know, that's what she wants to do, that's how she feels. She'll go, She'll go into, into it, it the next fine. fine. A lot of people have been questioning, questioning uh, the, the, the mentorship, mentorship relationship, relationship, relationship now. Now, James, 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 James,
And here, and here is, is Maria, Maria Canellis, who is a Raw, raw superstar, superstar while her manager, manager outside her tag, her tag partner, partner, Selena Vega, Vega is, uh, is on, on the ECW brand. brand. Apparently, Apparently Maria, Maria was able, was able to convince, convince the deal. The deal. And, and Zelina will stay on Monday, Monday Night, Night Raw, Raw as well. And, well, and, and says she's got, she's got big plans, plans for her clientele. On Monday Night Raw, Raw and ECW, ECW, but, uh, but uh, that team that will not be not ending, be ending the, the, the team of the first ladies, ladies day, the first ladies, 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 ladies of WWE will continue, will continue to stay here, here and Mickey and James, James and fire right, right off the bat right there, Mickey James, James telling Mick, uh, Maria, Maria, like, Maria, like, hey, come on, these two ladies have been better in the WWE locker room before they've been, they've done their tenure here, they've been here multiple times, this is what these two ladies are here to prove tonight is that they are still here on Monday Night Raw, that they deserve to be in the spotlight of a championship, they deserve to be there. be there. Remember when, Remember uh, when Maria Canales was having a feud with AJ Lee? Lee. Mickey, James, Mickey James, James, just a couple, just weeks, a couple ago, weeks ago, had a chance, chance of a woman's uh, in her little little championship. championship. Unfortunately, Unfortunately for, for her, Nikki Bella, Bella just decided, hey, decided, hey, I'm going to do the dirty, dirty tricks and get out of this. Would have plowed and hit hit Zelina Vega right in the face there, but there is none. There is no help tonight from Lacey here, but Mickey James now figures out that draw. There you go, spinning kick there, pinfall, maybe a win here, but the rope break and I expected better from Mickey there because it's a, it's a rookie mistake to pin while their feet are under the ropes there. But I guess desperation calls for anything here. And now Maria, whoa, high bulldog. Canellis is going for the pin and she's thinking this is the win. She's thinking this is the way I win this matchup and I kick out though. And she's like, come on, that's a win. She's like, that's, that's how you win matches. She's like, that's how you do things. And now, wait, Mickey James counters it up here. And now Mickey with a forearm. And she knows, hey, this is my moment here. And now Canellis counters it. And Canellis, oh no, face buster! And Maria's like, that's got to be it. She's like, that's the win. No matter what happens here, it's over. And Canellis with the win. And look at that. Just disrespect to Mickey at the end there. And Mickey James. I think she would have won this. It, it seemed like she had the chance. It looked like she had the chance. But then uh, Zelina Vega interrupted and, and let Maria get back into this matchup. And it begs the question. Would this have been a different outcome? Had Lacey Evans been here to, to support her mentor? But Mickey James... Suffers the loss, unfortunately. Maria Canellis got the win she needed. And look at those Bulldogs. She pulled them off. And then she pulled off a face buster that helped her get the win. And then she was disrespectful. She was very disrespectful and picked up. She just picked up Mickey James's head after the pin and started smacking it towards the head. And what, what is this? So they're not done. Come on. This They know. They know Lacey Evans is in the building. She's not in the same state. She's not even here. And they're going to not stop. They want to. They want to make a name. They want to make a statement right now. Sore losers is what I'm getting from this. Bulldog here. And Canellis right now. Come on. This this is not needed. Mickey James does not deserve this here. Face Buster. And where is Lacey Evans when you need her? Leaving Mickey James high and dry. As Marina and Selena beat down Mickey James. Alia making her way down to the ring, an NXT star here hoping to uh, maybe pull off the, one of the biggest upsets we've ever seen on Evolution against two veterans of WWE and Caitlyn and AJ Lee. It's going to be tough, but Alia and Vanessa Bourne, Vanessa Bourne who was here last week, got her ass beat by Carmella. It might be a little bit tough for them, but uh, they're going to try to do it here. They're going to try to pull it off and we'll see. If these two ladies can pull her off. From San Diego, California, Van Emma Borg. 
this this might not go very well. This might be a quick match, but the thing is, and this is where if you know I'm their manager, I'm telling them focus on the fact that we haven't seen AJ Lee and Caitlyn wrestle as a tag team in a while. Yes, the natural chemistry is there, and that that can hurt you, but there is ring rust to a tag team that hasn't wrestled in a while, and you two know each other very well from NXT, very close friends. Uh, so pull it together and uh, let's see what if you guys can make this a close matchup here against Caitlyn and AJ Lee. And and opponents first from Houston, Texas, Caitlyn. Caitlyn looking ready to go, man. She is always in great shape, and and Caitlyn don't mess around. Caitlyn looking looking at both those ladies right now, telling them, "Come on, my ring." And here we go, two on one. What is Caitlyn up to? There's no. Where is AJ Lee and all this? And Caitlyn's like, come on. Caitlyn has said, come on in my ring, and let's go. Caitlyn ain't playing games tonight. She is ripping anybody's head off. And now Aaliyah taking a shot at Caitlyn. Pick up, drop down, strength. Let's go. Close line counter there. Aaliyah was standing there for a little bit too long right now. And again, Caitlyn might not be ready for this one. Ooh, dodging Aaliyah now. Showing that maybe she can pull up something out of here. <laughs> Look at that. That's impressive. The young NXT kid is ready to show what she can do. She, she didn't come here just to participate. She came here to win. She came here to prove that where she stands right now. And Caitlyn and AJ Lee, this would be a dis... A bad loss for them here, but again, the tag team division always willing to show something more. Always improving, and that's a nice neck breaker there by Aaliyah. Again, the tag team division here on the XT Women's, uh, sorry, the women's division here is always looking for tag teams, always looking to move the ladder up, always looking to see who will be the next contenders for those titles. Currently, right now, the, the champs are the Iconics, who will be defending those championships at the Great American Bash, as we found out this past Tuesday on SmackDown, when uh, Ruby Riot said, yeah, Sarah Logan, Liv Morgan, they're going to go for those titles, and they're going to go for those titles, and they're going to get it. And now countered here by, by Caitlyn, and Caitlyn running to AJ, and that's smart right there. That's making the count right there. And here comes AJ Lee. The former women's champion don't play around. She don't play around. She don't play these games. A woman who's been very instrumental to the Friday Night Evolution show when it was Friday Night Divas. She has been, even Wednesday Night Divas, she has been instrumental in that. She's had great battles here before. She's won titles here. Then AJ Lapex Splash onto Aaliyah. I mean Vanessa Bourne, sorry. I've been wanting to see more of Aaliyah in this ring, that's why. And now here comes Vanessa Bourne countering it. But AJ Lee with a big kick. And AJ Lee's telling it as it is right now. She is untouchable. She's been in a lot of matches. She's been wrestling. That's the one thing that's kept her going. Caitlin, maybe a little bit of ring rust, a little bit of a where am I right now kind of situation. So AJ Lee might have to carry this team up here. And AJ Lee takes it down there. And going after Aaliyah. Removes Aaliyah from the equation. Smart. Smart. That's tag team wrestling right there. Get rid of the other person's uh, partner. And focus on this person and beat the crap out of him. It's AJ Lee takes it right there. Stomping a mud hole. Let's go. And Lee. Wait, countered here by Bourne. A counter by Bourne. And Bourne now making the tag into Aaliyah. And this can get very interesting here. Aaliyah did not come here just to participate. She came out here to beat this team here brawl feet oh she was about to go for a she hit a bronco buster but she didn't add the rest of that normally everybody else adds but uh Aaliyah going toe to toe AJ Lee with the power bomb on Aaliyah and Leah kick out there and she's like okay I gotta figure this out and Lee now has has Aaliyah where she wants her but oh wait countered here by the NXT the NXT star And Lee could be in trouble here as Aaliyah rounds it about and a drop kick there. Neasley is positioning himself in the tag team division. AJ Lee, though, will be a participant in the Women's Intercontinental Championship this this Sunday at Stomping Grounds. And that that's, goes to show you, hey, even AJ Lee's like, I, I don't need that much time to train like in that championship matchup. I'm always ready. And Lee now 
takes down Aaliyah. And AJ's like, you're not ready for this move here. AJ Lee waited for her. And there it is. The Black Widow. That's how easy tear apart. And there you go. A tap out by Aaliyah. This was, it was, that Black Widow is added into the equation. You're done. You're tapping out immediately. There, That's one of the toughest moves to get out of. But at a moment, look at this. Vanessa Bourne and Aaliyah at one moment looked like they were going to put in a fight. And they, they did. They didn't come here and get destroyed. But at the same time, AJ Lee stepped in the ring and, and really put the beating into them and showed them, hey, I'm, I'm ready for it. And maybe uh, maybe this is uh, AJ Lee telling Caitlyn, yeah, you got to be around a little bit more if you're going to want to succeed with this. You're going to want this team to succeed. We're going to need to be a little together more. The man's come around to Friday Night Evolution, and yes, it's been a while since I've been here, and it, it's definitely been, it's definitely been a while. I've done a lot since that time, and I am the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, and that does not stop me. That does not stop me from truly being shocked. I'm shocked tonight. Sonya Deville coming out here saying that saying that uh, she's not turning her back at all ever on uh, little miss mandy rose that's definitely a surprise to me hmm. i guess my game plan is never gonna work i guess i gotta go to plan b now plan b is gonna be ripping off her arm and ripping off mandy's arm too because sonya deville just told me she'll never do it but come on now sonya i think we know i think we know you never really reveal your true plan you can lie very well, and that's probably what you're doing now. But at the end of the day, you're not champion. You'll never be champion. And those dreams about you guys at SummerSlam, it's never going to happen. Because I'm focused and I'm determined that I'm going to SummerSlam. I'm going to right my wrong. And I'm going to beat Asuka. And I'm going to be ready for Asuka. And I'm going to put her in that arm. I'm going to wrench that arm. Then I'm going to make her tap. So I'm going to SummerSlam because I not only have my championship that I have to defend, but I have a bigger goal, and that's to put down the undefeated streak of Asuka. So Sonia, Mandy, enjoy your time. Enjoy your so-called friendship because in a couple of weeks, once the Great American Bash comes around, you two are going to hate each other, and you two are going to want to rip each other's face off. For my SmackDown Live Women's Championship. And at that point. Is when I come in. And I rip off your arms. And take them home with me as trophies. And the man has come around and has spoken it. The man is ripping arms. And she's going to take them as trophies. And uh, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Your arms are going to be your trophies. It is a main event time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Natalia.
accompanied by Paul Heyman. From Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross! Yes, here we go. This is one-on-one -on -one time here. The main event of Evolution, baby. And uh, this is going to be quite the uh, the pairing here, Natalia, who has been uh, who's got a change of heart now. Not just because she is a, a heart, but uh, she's got the change of heart now. Said, hey, at the beginning, I didn't see that. You know, all these women coming in it was not for them to replace me, but it was to make it was to make it more of a competition, make it more more challenges for me to go through and uh, I took it the wrong way I took it as they were here to replace me and the company was trying to get rid of me but now she's become the leader of the locker room that she has always wanted to be believe that she has a lot of young women in the in, on Smackdown Live that she can help and she can mold into the next big next big stars but uh, right now has her eyes on someone who is leaving the the Smackdown Live brand and could possibly be leaving with the uh, United States uh, championship that Naomi currently holds but uh, this is a big test here for uh, Nikki Cross we did see him in tag team action where she did team up with the only woman who would team up with her which was uh, Nia Jax uh, Nikki Cross has become uh, pretty much very unpopular in the back of the Smackdown Live women's rock locker room because she is headed to ECW and she was chosen by Paul Heyman that very man who is outside right now managing Nikki Cross right now Paul Heyman believes that Nikki Cross has a lot of potential to, to be someone big in, NX, in uh, ECW. And right now currently holding the women's, the ECW World Heavyweight, the, I'm so sorry, my fucking, my, my, my words, blah, 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 blah. The ECW Women's World Championship Tournament to determine who will be the champion of ECW. Um, and uh, to, to be able to put in the the United States Championship would be very good, but very kind, very, very solid to put more championships and more competition and more goals for people to accomplish at ECW. As here comes Natalia with a clothesline. It did not work out the way she wanted it there. Nikki Cross, headbutt now, and maybe now Nikki starts to develop some offense here. Natalia, a former champion a former divas champion someone who held the women's championship as well she's a uh, very well accomplished here in the universe mode the last couple of months have not gone well for her but uh, maybe with this change of attitude back to it again she'll go back to succeeding and being who she truly can be as headbutts are coming the way of nikki cross here it's not an easy matchup man this is this is a, this is the testing ground this is how you test someone like nikki cross you put her up against natalia and see how she's able to compete in a one-on-one -on -one match, Natalia takes very great pride in the ring and is one of the best that has done it here. And Natalia going high risk. Look at Natty. Natty with the body. It's just put her whole body on the line there. And Nikki Cross is down. And Cross could be out of here. Kick out, though. Nikki Cross surviving it here. And Nikki's back up. And oh, no. And Natty. Natty, pick yourself up here. As Cross takes Natalia out of the ring. And Paul Heyman saying, stay in the ring. He's like, stay in the ring. Paul Heyman trying to guide uh, Nikki Cross, maybe even just tell her, hey, this is how I'm going to make you somebody that I see in my image here. Paul Heyman took ECW, became ECW back and said, I'm taking Brock Lesnar. I'm taking a couple other stars and uh, 
Vince McMahon, the overseer of everything, said, yeah, you know what, let's see it. Let's see what you can do with that. Let's add more competition to Raw and SmackDown and NXT and see what those guys, see how it make it step up their game. And Natalia with the clothesline, nothing there for her. Nikki Cross, though, says, I got something here for you. A backbreaker, and let's stretch it out so you can truly feel the pain of that. As Cross doesn't play games when it's, when it's a match like this. Still a ways away, a couple weeks from uh, for a couple weeks from now, and I had shot right there to the midsection of Natty, and a big knee to the face. And Nikki Cross, man, I'm loving what I'm seeing. She is being smart about her attacks, not just attacking wildly with Paul Heyman out here, maybe helping her control all that. And now Natalia, now look at Natty. This is what makes her so good. She's got power like this. Suplex there. Trying to get the crowd here up behind her. And knows it's not going to be easy right now. As Nikki Cross picks herself up here. Natty waiting for Cross to get up. Drunk hell kick right there to the face of Cross. And look at that, the veteran saying, hey, I could do this all day. As now Natalia. In control of the matchup here. Here comes a suplex again. Wait, countered. Neck baker by Cross. And Cross says, I'm going to take a chance. And a rope break, though. Not see Paul Heyman telling her, what were you doing that for? Heyman outside screaming to her, telling her, what were you doing that for? That was a bad move. Like She was right there on the rope break. You wasted that. And now Natalia stepping back into it. Even Paul, Paul Heyman knows how, how much of a threat Natalia can be. And Natty, oh, she's not going to do this. She's never been known to go high risk like that all the way from the top like that. She does do some high risk move, but never from that angle. And here comes Natty stomping on Cross. And here we go. Natty went for the elbows, and she got it. Mid ropes here. Natalia might be thinking, I need the face of Nikki Cross. And picking up Cross, who is down right now, but can be playing possum at any moment. Natty by nature. Natty by nature, and this could be it for, for Nikki. And kick out, though. The number one contender for the United States Championship is still surviving this, man. Still in this. Cross, though, gets oh, out of that one. Cross now going to go. Oh, wait a second. A driver. No, 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 no. Got it. Packing pinfall here. Just a turnaround slam like that. And a kick out. On, on her side, Paul Heyman being her manager. I don't know if Naomi's going to be able to retain that title. Nikki Cross looks poised to take the inner, the United States Championship in a couple of weeks at the Great American Bash. But this is Friday Night Evolution. This is Rookie. I am going, going, God.